Spacewalks. Oh. That in and of itself is a dream come true. You think getting to space is enough? You know those commercials just came back from a, you know, a, a space uh, mission. What are you going to do next? I want to do a spacewalk. <laughs> Everybody wants to do a spacewalk. Because when, when else are you ever going to be your own satellite? You, yourself, being in your own self-contained spacesuit, orbiting the Earth. It just doesn't happen every day. And uh, I've been an astronaut for what I consider to be a long time. And uh, for over a decade, I've wanted to do that. If you could imagine wanting something so bad um, that uh, you put a lot of your heart and soul into doing it, and then the moment comes, and there you are, you are getting dressed. I mean, everything. It's not just the going outside and experiencing the vacuum of space and seeing the earth through nothing but a visor. It's, it's all the preparation I've discovered, looking back on it. It's all the preparation it takes to get there. Even when I was uh, inside the space station and I was preparing for my spacewalk, for me and my partner, doing simple things like putting my suit together, charging batteries, putting together my, my, my workstation, which holds all my tools, um, the very simplest things, even getting ready my, my underwear, my underclothes, all was a part of the experience because I knew I was going to go out there and fulfill this dream. And it, was, uh, it wasn't just going out there and walking in space. I was actually going to do a job. I had um, not a whole lot of time to get a whole lot of work done. And, that, as I said, the, the space station had a critical failure. And um, it was uh, critical not, be, not just because it was a very important piece of uh, equipment that failed and we needed to go fix, but because we didn't have a whole lot of time to fix it. It really mattered that we got this done uh, timely and quickly. And so I went out there not just to do a space block, but to do a job. And I can't tell you how meaningful that is to um, to attach your dream to something that important, where it becomes not just important to you, but important to a lot of people. So, like I said, there's a lot that goes into doing a spacewalk. But once you're out there, it's um, some parts of it are scary, the unknown. Scary, what do I mean by that? It means that you, you have all this anticipation. The, the hatch is about to open, you're in this cumbersome white suit that is uh, full of air. And every time you move your arm, whether it's out or in, even your little finger, when you bend it, you're bending against pressure. And it's really hard. You've got you've to have a lot of strength. You've got to have a fair amount of coordination. And you learn all this in training, but you're sure hoping that the moment that you need it, that it all comes to work for you. And so just, just getting yourself out of the crew lock where um, uh, you, you entered at, at atmosphere and all the air got pumped away and you're about to introduce yourself to the vacuum of space where there is no air. Um, that, that, uh, all of that comes with such anticipation that you, you haven't even begun the eight hours of work that you're about to do outside. But then um, on my first spacewalk, we opened up the hatch and the sun had already set. So what was, what was beneath me, not a bl brightly blue glowing plump planet, but a, a, a sheet of darkness. <laughs> there was nothing. I couldn't see, I couldn't even make out lights on, on, the, on the earth. So it was, it felt like I was in the middle of outer space for sure. But once I got outside of the hatch and I could look around at the structure that surrounded me called the International Space Station, it was pretty comforting because I had been training for so long in the environment at, at our training facility. It's an, un, a pool with a space station mock-up underwater. And it's, uh, it's very, very lifelike. It's very, very similar to what we have in space. It's just uh, minus the big plump earth beneath you. But uh, walking out there was, uh, was a comfort to see that it, amidst all of this uh, strangeness that you just only parts of it can you simulate on the ground. So you're experiencing all of this together at, at once. And it, when it's your first spacewalk, it's a lot to take in. But then uh, mission control starts to talk to you and tell you what they need you to do first. And you, get, you just get right back down to earth and, and uh, start doing the job you've been trained to do. And it's only in those moments where um, 
there's a, a brief uh, break in the communication or um, Mission Control is asking you to wait and stand by that you have a moment where you can actually look off to the side out your visor and, and see that earth going by and it just uh, takes your breath away. And then you see your feet dangling there and there's the earth in the background and it just kind of freaks you out a little bit that, wow, <laughs> I am floating above the world. And not only am I floating above the world at 250 miles above the surface, but I also am traveling at Mach 25, 17,500 miles per hour, with nothing but a little leash attaching me to the space station. All sorts of, all sorts of fascinating thoughts go through your head, and, and uh, especially if the sun is coming up, after the Earth has just had this eerie blackness come over it, and then the sun comes up, and, it, and when the sun comes up, it comes up so fast and furious, and the colors change. It's, 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 incre it's miraculous, the colors. It goes from this eerie black and dark blue to, to, to pinks and yellows and oranges, and they just shimmer. And then you have this sun beating down on you greater than, than any, any sun ray you've ever experienced on Earth. Uh, it's, and then the space station lights up. And it's incredible. And then Mission Control starts talking to you and tells you they need you to do the next thing. That totally breaks your reverie. And that's kind of what a spacewalk is like. <laughs>